Hello friends and my dear students welcome back to my channel Phoenix Physics. Today we are going to learn physics in relation to technology and society. Why do we need technology to invent and produce useful product or solve problems we need technology. Technology is nothing but the application of physics for our practical purposes. So there is a complementary relation between physics and technology or we can say sometimes technology will give rise to new physics. Example heat engine the need to understand and to improve the working of heat engines give rise to new branches of physics thermodynamics. Sometimes physics generates new technology. Example silicon chip the invention of silicon chip triggered computer revolution. So physics and technology both are interrelated can together impact our society either directly or indirectly. Let us discuss some other example. First one is wireless communication technology. So we all are having smartphones and we know that it is working with the help of Wi-Fi. What is Wi-Fi? It's a wireless communication technology. So the wireless communication technology based on basic law of electricity and magnetism. Next one is launching of satellite revolutionized our communication. Um, you know our TV broadcasting, radio broadcasting, navigation, research field all are using our satellite communication. So in short we can say communication shrunk the world over the distance right third one is microelectronics laser superconductivity computer nuclear energy etc all are based on physics let's discuss one by one so the name itself you can say Micro means small. Uh, in our day to day life we are using so many electronical devices. All the electronic devices consist of two or more combination of this micro electronic device. Can you give some example for this micro electronic device? Uh, transistor, capacitor, resistor, then diode, insulator all are uh, micro electronic devices and these devices made from semiconductor devices then laser you know the full form of laser okay you might have learned in your lower classes so laser is used in laser therapy then computer you know then fourth one is superconductivity is very very important in physics so Let's see what is superconductivity. The ability of certain metals or materials and then compounds alloy to conduct electricity with zero resistance underlying with zero resistance at a very low temperature is superconductivity. So one of the important application of superconductivity is superconducting magnets have been used to levitate trains above its rail. Have you heard about maglev train? It is nothing but the it is a short form of magnetic levitation train that is magnetic mag levitation lev maglev train or we can say bullet train now you can understand right then nuclear energy there are two types of nuclear energy one is fission another one is fusion fission means one nuclei split into two or more nuclei 
okay that is fission it takes place in power plant to produce electricity uh, can you give some names of nuclear plants in tamil nadu yeah right kudangulam and kalpakam are the nuclear power plants in tamil nadu then fusion fusion reaction takes place in sun in sun two or more hydrogen nuclei fuse together and produce helium nuclei at that time enormous amount of heat energy is released that's why we are getting heat from sun so physics and technology are interconnected and both contributes contributes to our society uh, you know very well physics is one of the fundamental science and it is the king of science let's see how physics is used in other science field also first one is physics in relation to chemistry uh, in physics we study about structure of atom radioactivity x-ray diffraction etc so what why do we study x-ray diffraction from x-ray diffraction we can study crystal structure so these studies help the researchers to arrange elements in the periodic table based on atomic number so from this atomic number we can study valency chemical bond between the atom and complex chemical structure what is valency it's combining capacity of elements is valency then chemical bond the sharing of electrons or accepting of electrons and forming new bonds is nothing but chemical bond there are two important branches in chemistry one is physical chemistry another one is quantum chemistry so up to this clear next one is physics in relation to biology after the invention of electron microscope we can see even a uh, structure of cell structure of cell precisely there are two types of electron microscope one is stem another one is sem that is transmission electron microscope and scanning electron microscope then x-ray and neutron diffraction x-ray and neutron diffraction help to study the structure of nucleic acids and you know very well x-ray is used for diagnostic purpose and radio isotopes are used in radio therapy to cure cancer kind of diseases for example iodine i131 this is one of the important radio isotope this radio isotope helps to detect thyroid cancer then physics physics in relation to mathematics just now i said physics is the king of all the science same way max is the queen of science so without physics we can't do anything in max and without max max application we can't do we can't do anything in physics so in max we are using scalars vectors what is scalars it has magnitude right so magnitude means nothing but numbers okay so example for the scalar are distance then vector vector has magnitude and direction example for this vector is displacement other than scalar and vector we are using differential calculus also so differential calculus deals with the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another for example velocity v is nothing but differentiation of that is v is equal to dx by dt so x is distance so 
so velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time similarly acceleration is nothing but dv by dt the rate of change of velocity with respect to time next we are using integral calculus in physics so the formula for work done is nothing but force into distance or we can write force is 0 to integral 0 to or integral a to b f of x dx so just now we discussed x is the distance here the work done by the force to move the object to a distance x from the position a to b is like this so from this formula we can find out work done similarly impulse i is nothing but f into del t force into time interval or we can write t1 to t2 f dt so i is nothing but our impulse next physics in relation to astronomy here there are two types of telescope astronomical telescope another one is radio telescope so this astronomical tele telescope helps us to study the motion of the planets or heavenly bodies in sky then radio telescope it is used to detect radio frequency radiation from other uh, from some other extraterrestrial ob sources what is extraterrestrial means we can get some other radio signals from other galaxies also next one is physics in relation to geology what is geology the study of rocks so here the diffraction techniques just now we discussed diffraction techniques x-ray diffraction used to study about the crystal structure so so the diffraction techniques and radioactivity used to study the crystal structures of various rocks and the radiocarbon dating have you heard about radiocarbon dating so it is used to uh, calculate the age of uh, rocks fossils and the age of earth example for this radioactivity elements are carbon 14 so other than carbon 14 we are using u235 that is uranium 35 and potassium 40 these are all example for radioactivity elements so this is in picture you can see radiocarbon dating machine next one is physics in relation to oceanography the physics parameters that is temperature then salinity gas flux current speed chemical components all are used in this oceanography so temperature you know what is sal salinity the amount of dissolved salt in water is salinity then current speed the flow of water the flow of water from one location to another is current speed then gas fluxes what is gas fluxes the flow of volatile gas emission from ocean to atmosphere is gas fluxes next one is physics in relation to psychology here the movement of neurotransmitters are governed by diffusion and molecular motion I hope you know that what is neurotransmitters it is nothing but a chemical messenger that transmit a message from a nerve cell to target cell here the target cell can be another nerve cell or muscle cell or a gland cell example for this neurotransmitter is amino acid such as glycine function of our brain is related to wave particle dualism which means it has both wave like characteristics and particle like characteristic so 
I hope this video is useful to you. If you like my video, please share and subscribe my videos. Thank you.